Okay, this video is to show you how to install the Tron Link Wallet extension, or I should say the Tron Link Wallet itself, into your Firefox browser. Before we get started though, I'd like you to get a pen and piece of paper, or make sure you can you know, either paste or type this information into your computer, into like a Word document, but you're going to want to be able to record a password and your mnemonic phrase on this piece of paper for, for saving it safely in another location. We'll explain more about that in a minute. All right, let's continue. So on your Firefox browser, go ahead into the URL, type in uh, tronlink.org. And when you do that, this is the page that comes up. And you'll see down here in the middle of the page, it says browser extensions. You'll see Chrome here and Firefox. We're going to, of course, click on the Firefox link. That'll take us to the Firefox add-ons page. And in the middle of this page, you'll see this blue button that says Firefox. Now, it really should say install TronLink, but for some reason, they made it a little more difficult. But if you click Firefox, that'll then pull up the yes, I want to add it box there on the page. And immediately that extension is turned on in your browser and you'll see the icon show up here in the upper right hand corner in your menu bar. You'll just click OK again to install that the rest of the way. Now, sometimes this icon does not show up in the menu bar. Most of the time it does. If it doesn't, you can usually click on the little puzzle piece here. And that is, of course, for your, uh, your add-ons. If you click on that, it'll open up all your, your plugins, your add-ons. You'll see here, there's my Tron Link extension that's been added to Firefox. I go ahead now and close that or go back to, uh, I'm going to take you back just to the Tron Link website page because it looks a lot nicer. Now jump up here to the Tron Link wallet. What you can do is just click on that and come down here in the bottom left, you'll see create a wallet. Now this other link right here, import a wallet, I just want to let you know what that is. And that is if you ever were to lose your browser for some reason, or let's say this is on a portable device and you get that lost or stolen, you'll want to be able to go and import your wallet. And that's why it's so important to record your password and passphrases so that you could reset up your wallet if it's ever lost. Also, if you had TrueIQ help you set up your wallet and store your mnemonic phrases in our cold storage, you could then click this import wallet here and reset up that wallet and have us pass that information back through to you where you could then manage that on your own. But for now, we're going to go over here and just click on create a wallet. Now you'll want to go through and read this entire user agreement. I'm just kidding. Probably take you about 20 minutes to a half hour to read it. There's no way to quickly go down to the bottom of this. So you just have to keep scrolling until you get to the bottom. When you get to the bottom, you'll notice that the blue I agree button turns on and you just click, yes, I agree. Okay, that it, uh, installs the extension on your browser. And now the next thing we're going to do is actually create your wallet. So we'll start first by going down here to uh, entering a wallet name. And what I suggest here is that you use a name that's going to stand out and be unique to the purpose of each wallet you create. Um, because you, you can create multiple wallets in the extension. So for the purpose of this uh, tutorial, I'm just going to call this wallet my, my wallet training video for TrueCoin. And once I've named that wallet, I can then come down here to the password, re-enter the password, and then click on Create Wallet. And there you go. It's created. The next thing you're going to want to do is come down here and back up your wallet. Now, you may say, well, there's nothing in my wallet, so why should I back it up? I think I'll just do it later. But I strongly suggest you do this now because you don't want to forget to back up your wallet. Because when you click back up wallet, what comes up is your mnemonic passphrase. And we have to enter our password to get into our mnemonic passphrase. So here is my mnemonic passphrase for my test account. Now yours will be different. Every account that's set up has a different group of words and you'll need to record these, either write them down so you can save it in a safe place. You can also click copy. That'll of course uh, copy that. And then you can paste that into a Word document or you can click on the QR code. If you've got a phone with a scanner, a QR scanner, you can scan that 
and those words will be saved in your phone as well. Um, it's really important to remember though, and I strongly suggest that when you get these recorded, you keep them in a separate place. I actually will write mine down and keep them in a binder or in a notebook and actually keep it um, outside of the house. So if I had 100,000 or 200,000 or half a million in cryptocurrency, I would definitely keep these passphrases probably at a, at a lockbox at a bank. If you lose these, you do not have a way and also lose access to your account. You will not have a way of restoring your wallet and getting back in to get your assets or your cryptocurrency. So this is a very important step that you, uh, that you record these and store them away in a safe place. Also, if you're participating in the Q Club, it's important that you have these passphrases so you can also type them into your team office uh, in the TrueIQ website. And that's, of course, they are stored in cold storage with 3int authentication. So it's a very secure and safe way to also store your passphrases. And, and we can talk more about the Q Club later on in another video. So I'm going to go ahead and click already backed up. Um, it makes me go through and verify that, hey, the 11th word was this word and the fifth word was this word. But I'm going to go ahead and just click next and ignore all this and bypass it by just clicking on my wallet. All right, so there you go. You've now set up your wallet, your first wallet in your, your browser. Now, this looks a little overwhelming at first because there's so much going on here. You know, the Tron wallets are really built and made for developers or those who really understand cryptocurrency thoroughly. They're not real user friendly. They're getting better, uh, but there's just a lot going on here. For this video here, I'm just going to show you maybe one or two things. In future videos, I'll be able to show you a lot more about the wallet and all the features within the wallet. But for right now, I just want to show you one or two things. The first thing I want to show you is that you can actually set up additional wallets in this account. So if, just by clicking on the plus icon, I can now request another uh, wallet address. Um, I can import a wallet and, of course, uh, pair hardware wallets or an outside wallet. But that's something we'll, we'll do some training on later on in, uh, in TrueIQ. But I'm going to back up right now. The only other two things I want to show you is, of course, in order to uh, buy TrueCoin, you will need to load this wallet with TRX or TronCoin. And you'll do that by coming down here and, and clicking on Receive. When you click on Receive, you'll notice two things here. The QR code, which is nothing more than a, a graphic representation of the, the wallet ID right below it. So if, for example, you had someone standing right next to you, who had a wallet on their, their phone, they could open up their wallet, scan the QR code, and it would pull in this long, complicated ID into their wallet, and they could immediately send you cryptocurrency, or in this case, specifically TRX. The other thing you can do is click on the copy account, and what that does is it just copies this long code so that now you can paste it into another wallet, into an email, send it to somebody. You don't need to really worry about anybody seeing this code. This is a unique code and there's no reason for hiding this. This is just like saying, well, here's my bank account number and if you need to send me money, just send it to this account. There's no way that by having this code, they'll be able to draw funds out of your account, of course, unless they have your mnemonic phrases. Okay, the other thing I just wanted to show you is the send button. When you've got funds loaded into your account. Let's say you've got $500 loaded into your account. You'll see that amount right here. What you'll do is click on send and it's pretty straightforward. It's coming from this wallet, which is your wallet. Then you're going to send it to, for example, another person, or in this case, we're talking about TrueCoin. So you'll send it to your TrueCoin wallet. And that's a wallet you'll set up in another video. For the training of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and paste in the exact same wallet. You can actually click on this and add in a contact name just so you, it's easier to find in the future. You'll come down here. You don't need to choose the token because you're in your TRX wallet. It'll just default to TRX. Obviously, if you've got other assets in your wallet, you can choose other assets to send. Uh, for TrueCoin, though, we are only accepting at this point TRX coin. Uh, you'll come down in here and put in the amount of coin that you want to send. I'm just going to go ahead and put in 1,000. You'll see that when you type in 1,000, it's kind of hard to read, but right below it will show you the amount that represents in U.S. dollars. And of course, but 1,000 TRX is equivalent to $62 and something cents. So basically, as of the making of this video, 
TRX was worth 0 0.062 cents a coin. So of course, a thousand of those would be $62. Uh, a lot of wallets will have, you know, you can pick minimum, half, maximum. If you click on maximum, of course, take the total amount of the coin you have in your wallet and insert it here. So that's the reason for the max. Um, of course, it's telling me that I don't have enough funds. I have an insufficient balance in my account to transfer it. If I did have over a thousand TRX in there, of course, that wouldn't show up. Um, down here, it'll show you the fee that the Tron blockchain is going to charge for making this transfer. And that's 1.1 Tron, or basically six cents to make the transfer. And once you agree to all that, you'll just click on the send. And once you click on send, it'll just send the, the, the Tron coin to the True IQ account. And then you've purchased your True IQ. So that's basically it. Now down at the bottom, there are other links on how to use a wallet and then how to purchase TrueCoin. So good luck.